Hey everyone, and welcome back to the video. So in this video, I'm going to share with you a few sales I made on eBay in the past week from the 21st to 27th. I'm going to share with you every single sale I've made here on eBay. Mm, so here we go. So this is the first sale. Sorry for the internet this is loading. This is Cars the video game. Cars 2 the video game for the PlayStation 3. This had no manual, it was just the disc and the original case. But this sold for $13.99 shipped. Because all of these video games are free shipping. Because they're like they're like first class and they're easy to ship. And they're easy to list, easy to store. And I've sold a whole bunch of them. I picked up a PS3, a PlayStation 3 for $10. And I picked up a PlayStation 2 for $10. With a bunch of games. PlayStation 2 had a bunch of games. Most of the games are just lined up for the PS2. And the PS3 came with a bunch more games. And it was only 10 bucks too, so. And it came with a controller, untested console. But I got a bunch more games that were really... Or, I mean, they were listed individually. Because they're newer and they'll sell... Even the older ones are worth a little something. So, yeah. $13.99 shipped. And it only took two days to sell. And I made 8 bucks in profit. On that. And I'm already in the profit on the video game buy. Both cons, both systems. I combined just in the one. Then I don't put factor in a price on these lots. If I could factor in a price on every item, I might be 50 cents. I'm probably like less than 50 cents. I'm probably a quarter in. I'm probably a quarter in. And I don't want to say I'm a quarter, maybe. Maybe 40, maybe 33 cents in each listing. Uh, actually, yeah. No, I could say I'm 50, actually, I could say I'm 50 cents in each listing. That's right, yeah, because if 20, but that'd be about 40 listings, yeah. I could say that. I might 50 cents, between 50 cent dollar in each listing. It's not much. Maybe 75 cents, who knows. But yeah. So. And then Minecraft. This is for the PS3. Tested. I didn't say tested, but it does work. I can tell it does work. And it this I took a best off run of thirteen twenty nine shipped. Um again a lot of these are either disc only and with the original case or disc case and manual. Um, none, uh, all these are, and these, this actually sold really quick, I sold within a few days, I sold either same day or within a few days, I think it sold same day actually though for, C could be wrong, I can't remember though, it sold pretty, really, it sold quick though, and, again, another $8, for, another $8, for $8 profit. So, pretty nice. Eh, I'd say eh, it could, about seven dollars fifty cents to eat somewhere around there, but not bad though. Um, now this is a good, really good flip. This is a 1987 one dollar Walking Liberty one silver coin American Eagle. This sold for twenty nine ninety nine plus shipping, and the reason it sold for so much is it sells, is it's you can spend it, but it's worth its value in silver, and it can go for a little more. But I'm like, eh, I don't. I mean, they just they sell all the time, but then their like values go up, and then they take a little bit to sell, while they sell sometimes. And I'm like, I just wanted a quick flip, and I know a guaranteed flip, so I priced it at twenty nine ninety nine plus shipping, and it sold in like. 
few hours. And I got this for free from my grandma. And I didn't want... She just, like, here. Take some coins if you want to keep them. And I'm deciding to sell a few of them here and there. And list a few of them here and there. I have a Manso Twins coin for sixty four ninety nine pre shipping, but this is a twenty nine ninety nine pre shipping. So I'm really happy on that. That's like a twenty eight dollar profit on that because I got it for free. And literally, I just bubble wrap it, put a bubble mailer, I wrap the whole coin pretty well, and just put a bubble mailer in it shipped off so that's awesome so easy shipper and easy but it was the listing was a lot kind of eh. but it's kind of hard to photo that but it is but hey i'll take it though and this is grand turismo 5 this took a day to sell and sold for 9.99 free shipping and on this, I made about five bucks. I made five bucks and it sold in a day. So not too shabby. Um, this is n now it's for the PS3. All these are for PS3 unless I unless he's unless there's a PS2 here and there, which there are a few PS2s I have listed individually. But mainly, most of them are just lot ups. PS2 games. But anyways, this is Need for Speed Rivals Complete Edition for the PlayStation 3. This again sold for $14.99 <coughs> and free shipping. And it took two days to sell, and it's an $8.75 profit. So, quick flip. Quick flip. Easy to list, easy to ship. And most of these have been selling for full price. A few, maybe, I took one off from Minecraft. They're it. But really, I mean, these sell for full price if you price them competitively. Price them fairly. But they sell. Most of them are selling, so that's awesome. This is Sniper Elite Ver Volume 2. Or V2. Sony PlayStation 3. This is, this is a newer one. But it did sell for... It's complete with the manual. This sold for eight ninety nine shipped, and it made above four dollar profit, and it took only four days to sell. So that's pretty quickly, and you know, and the number of feedbacks have probably helped in too, because I'm selling stuff a lot faster than I used to. Um, some stuff yeah still sits in my store, and sits in my store, but a lot of things. Do sell quicker, I've noticed. And this is NASCAR the game 2011 PS3 complete in box. This is for the PlayStation 3 complete. This sold for $8.99 shipped. And this uh, it took a week to sell and made about uh, I made three dollar fifty cent profit about. And it only took a week. This is like an older NASCAR game. They have newer ones like 2012, 2013, 2014, 2015 versions for the I know for the 360 and the PS3 they do because they were only making them for the PX older system. They weren't making them for the newer model versions. They weren't. So I know that because I remember playing NASCAR 15 on the PS3, Xbox 360 and the server stuff for it. A while, like, that was, like, a couple years, I think, after the game was released. I know, and it was, like, when they made new versions for the three, Xbox One. So, I don't know. Hmm. Whatever, though. Um, and that, whatever, though. This is Fast and Furious Showdown for... PlayStation, Sony PlayStation 3, PS3 complete. This actually took a best off run of 9 shipped. And this took 4 days to sell. And I did make a $4 profit on this. So not too shabby. 
on there a little about a four dollar profit on it. Um, this was a book, and I haven't bought any books in forever because I haven't really found any book lots in the local auction house sourcing. And it really, cause I have a bunch of books, but honestly, I'm just trying to get rid of books. Honestly, Mister. Um, this is the Jur by G George Dawes Green. I picked this up in a bulk booklet, and this is one of the ones that my stragglers are like, should I list individually, should I not? And I didn't, I don't think I had a thing to lot the genre to lot this up with, and stuff like that, and it did have a little kind of more set price is at 99 cents plus shipping, and it sold, but I lost like 30 cents in this book. And it took like over seven months to sell it. So it took a while to sell. This is Twisted Metal. Head on extra twisted edition for the PlayStation 2. This is actually a newer PlayStation 2 game. Um PlayStation they made PlayStation 2 games up to like FIFA 14, I think, for the PS2. But these is the newer stuff. The PlayStation 2 exclusives. And like the newer PlayStation 2 games. They actually sell for big money. Bigger money. Like the new one. You know? Like if there's like a new game. Like for example you might have Madden 08 on the PS3. And it's not as worth as much as Madden 08 on the PS2. For whatever reason. Maybe, you know, maybe because there's not as many copies of that game out there. Um, for whatever reason. Um, but anyways, this sold for nineteen ninety nine ship, and this is an acceptable condition. Not in good shape. They did test them all, and they all read in the console. So, and this sold in five days for nineteen ninety nine, and they made thirteen fifty profit. This is a dish. VIP 211Z, no seller, HG seller receiver, no intestine. I actually had two of these. And like I was saying, this sold for $9.99 plus shipping. And I should have actually put these as priority mail. But, and like I said, I should put these as priority. But I didn't. For whatever reason, these were post parcel. And it's only made a $5 profit on this one. Or $55 profit, but it is what it is. I'm already a profit on that dish lot. And I'm on the whole auction lot. What was the intestine antenna? The main unit actually was in the profit, so. I can that for three dollars. And this is Tomb Raider for the PlayStation 3 2013. This mm, it sold for 99 shipped and I made 455 dollars profit about on this. And it only took like eight to ten days on this, and it's a pretty quick flip. flip. Nice, good flip. This is 24. The complete seasons 1 and 3. I picked these up at a video store for a dollar in a box set season. And I'm not even in the profit that I picked. I had a whole lot of miscellaneous lots. And then I had um, one, I can't remember what show it was, that I sold. I know I sold one show for there. Oh, it's, I think it was Family Guy. And then I sold, I have one live 24 at seasons 1 through 5. 
at season three of twenty four. And then after I found out after was that was a different season was season two. But it was season three and a season three thing and I already listed the big bulk lot. But it is what it is. And then I have um twenty four season one through five. Family Guy is like uh, line one through three, I think. I have a couple of seasons of CSI, like two, four and five. But this, I actually took a best offer, and I've had this listed for about four months. And these sold for, for like a few days before four months. And these sold for four dollars plus shipping. So that for me three. And I looked at the comps, and I'm like, Sometimes the comps are actually kind of a little low on this show now. I was kind of surprised. Um, some actually this high, some kind of low. It's like so, and I've had not had the greatest luck on these. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna take the yeah, four bucks plus shipping. And after fees and everything, I'm only making about two dollars and ten cents profit. On this, and I'm still. I might break even on this, but I'm thinking like the other 24s might make me more profit, and they'll make me like probably 12, 13 profit. I know, I'm gonna have to sell that 24 promo card for 89 ship. If you invest everything, probably to be in the profit on this lot. That's if I sell everything for full price. So I'll probably break about even on this lot. Or I'll, I'll probably break about even on this lot, honestly. Maybe make a few bucks profit, but it's just because I bought so many random ones that weren't individual sellers very well, so it's like, mm. But mainly, I should have just bought the ones that were like multi season and then just lied there. And then, but it is what it is, so I'm happy to see it go. And this person offered me three, and then I offered, and then I'm like, you know what? They're not the high, well, highest they would go is four, they multiple, multiple times at four. And they automatically had the prepayment selected, so I'm like, you know what? Whatever. I'm gonna take that offer if they did four multiple times. And you see a family guy 24 for one through three, season one through four, four, eight, nine, and shipped. I have 24 season one through five for 17 nine, and shipped. And then there's CSI seasons four and five, I think, for 1079. And then 17 nine, and for season one through five, 24 plus shipping. Eight, nine for family guy one to three plus shipping. 1079 plus shipping for family. The other season of Family Guy. Or, um, CSI, excuse me, 10, 4, and 5. And season 3 of for 4 and 40 and shipped. And I had that 24 promo card from one of the seasons for 18 and it shipped. Just being a seller by another dollar, so I'm happy. So here we go. So I'm going to share with you some positive feedback. From off the grid seventy six. So I stream help following the description and fast ship very fast ship and buy again from this seller. Um this this is a dish VIP two eleven HD seller receiver in your mode tested. Took an offer on for seventy nine plus shipping. Um I sold one the how by the end hardcover book. Read, I was missing a page. Received the book, I promise, thank you. Thanks for the games. Fast shipping, my general go for it. Send. Because I'm at 33 feedback. General go for it. Send. Thanks for the games. Fast shipping, A+. Plus. And I have 833 positive feedback, or feedback on eBay. And my goal is to reach the 1,000 mark on eBay. That's my goal. I don't, I was, my goal was to reach it this year, but I, I'm just happy to reach it whenever. Honestly, but the faster the better. 
and that means summer summer. And this is SK516 combination wrench combo box open six point C10 USA USA tool number nine and a quarter shot Brad one underscore Morrow said S group participant special condition at C expectation. And that this is a midland VR100 all hazard weather other no SMS new. This was twenty sixteen inch ship, it was sealed. CLAR seven forty eight set but sniper goes through patient three speed three lead bots. Very fashioning me with it as described. Say this seller. Xbox three ten said it works great and arrived really thinks. This was untested PS3 controller. Six access dual shot wireless control three wires control RM untested with thirteen inch ship. Wrap and resolve issue with the printer. Test job one. This is a sub C drum for Canon Pixel and TS Neo 100. Search printer software TS Neo 20, TS Neo 40, TS Neo 50. This is for all TS Neo 100 models. And 91, 20, 40, and 50. And this, I, this is for an old printer a long time ago. And it took like n nine months to sell, but. There's a few, unless people buy a used printer on eBay and they need like the CD to use it or something like that or something, but that's what happened. I think they bought a printer on eBay or something and then they need a CD to install it. And boom, I sold it to them because it was cheapest. And it was basically like new because it was basically only used one time. And require require OY three five five three eBay fast shipping. Yeah. For about this, I box D211 portable DVD player, 10.2 inch read. That was a broken little bit on there, and it doesn't take a charge or nothing. I couldn't really tell because it was still red. And this sold for 655 plus showing. MID NITWRKR1. I am exactly as described as speed delivery. I am exactly as described as speed delivery. What did this person buy? Need for Speed the Run Grace Tits version 2013 Sassy Cat said the M came on time and it was as described. I would buy from the seller again. What did this person buy? The 832 the 830 second feedback. Oh, two DVD cases. Those are a couple of the last DVD cases I had on all on eBay, and I'm just happy to get rid of them. E K I M A R C came as advertised. And this is a Briggs and Stern Connect Piston 594099 and 594099. I took an offer of 24 ships on this. I took a, on this, and I just got that feedback today. So I'm 833 feet up, feedback on eBay. So the more you get, the more trusted you are, and the more you'll sell. Honestly, and that's my goal is just to get more feedback, and the more feedback you get, the more I'll sell. And and maybe I can command a little higher price sometimes, like when you're a fee new feet seller, like you might the going rate might be say nine ninety nine shipped, but you might be able to get say eight nine. You might have to sell for eight nine nine shipped in order to get that, in order to get the sale. But as a new seller, as a more experienced seller, like what I always do is I always list items at the going rate. Like if some, if like say there's like five sold, and there's one sold that's brand used, and the others are brand new, maybe I'll just price the used price, or I'll just price in between on, if to say it's in good condition for a video game, I'll, I'll price it in the middle. I'll say the going rate say nine nine chip. I'll price it in the going rate nine nine chip. And I sell pretty quick. But then sometimes what people will do is if you get a lot of feedback or you're a niche or something like that, if you're a niche seller on eBay, or you just have a, a lot of feedbacks on eBay, people what people might be doing it. Some people will list it for say 
Tending in Chuk the Rashi place it higher and Rashi get it. Um just because you have more feedback, some more people sell. If say they're a niche seller, they'll be able to get say ten ninety nine free shipping. For that same game and actually sell it. And some people just price higher or a little bit because they hope think they get higher. And like actually sit for a while because they're not in the spring or something like that or niche or something like that. So but yeah. Just happy to get some, make some sales on eBay, so until next time, take care.